Now that you're comfortable with the terminology and manipulating the lines and nodes in a figure, let's look at the different palettes available to you in Sticks. This is the Tools palette. There are currently five tools in the Tools palette, and by default the first one, called the Select tool, has been chosen. The Select tool, which we've been using so far, lets you select one or more figures on the stage, lets you move figures by dragging either the drag node or a line, lets you pivot, extend, or distort lines of a figure, and lets you draw new lines. The next tool is called the Subselect tool. With this tool, you can select one or more of the lines in a figure. Pivot lines in a figure. Drag a single figure by the drag node, which we have hidden under here. And you can draw new lines as well. Note that if you have the Hints window up, it updates to tell you about the currently selected tool. So you might want to leave the Hints window up while you're getting used to sticks. The next tool is the Polyfill tool. The Polyfill tool lets you draw a polygon between nodes of a figure and fill it with a color. To do so, you simply click on the nodes that will be part of the polygon, and to finish, click on the node you started with. I'll show you. When it's done, it fills with a light blue color to show you that it's complete. Now, if you want to remove this, you can just hit the delete key. On the other hand, if you're in the process of creating a polyfill, for example, you're at this stage, and you decide, oh, I don't want to create the polyfill anymore, you can just hit the escape key on your keyboard, and it will cancel. This can be used for filling in what should be opaque areas of your figure, and in fact I'm going to use it to create the sail of our sailboat. The last two tools are for adding a line or a circle to an existing figure. This is the Add Line tool, this is the Add Circle tool. The Add Line tool may be more comfortable for you to use rather than clicking and dragging. Um, you can just select the Add Line tool and then click on a node and a new line is added. Notice that it immediately switches you to Select tool so that you can then adjust your line or if you want to extend it, you can hold down the Command key and extend it. Same thing with the Add Circle tool. Now, since you cannot right-click and drag on the stage to create a circle, this is one of the ways that you can create one. Choose the Add Circle tool, once again, click on a node, and it adds a circle. And you can rotate, and you can extend. The next palette we'll talk about is the Properties palette. It lets you set properties for different things in sticks and changes depending upon what you've last displayed or clicked on. As you can see, the figure is currently selected. It's got the red handles. So the Properties palette shows figure properties. When I click on the stage so that no figures are selected, the Properties palette changes to show stage properties. Note when I click back on the figure, it's back to figure properties. If I happen to have a line selected, for example, if I choose the subselect tool and click on a line, the palette displays component properties. And if I use the subselect tool to click on a polyfill, you get the polyfill properties that are here. I'm going to review some of the properties and how you can change them. For example, we'll start with the polyfill. Notice that the fill color is currently the light blue. If I click on this, I get a color wheel that lets me adjust what fill I want. So let's say we want to have our sail be a nice kind of beigey color. And now that's filled with beige. If I choose to color the lines, let's say we want our boat to be uh, brown lines, I can select individually these lines and color them like this. Or, as you can see, I can change the width of the selected lines. 
I can change their lengths. I can determine whether or not they're hidden or not. And for solid figures, like the circle, I can make them opaque and fill them with a color. You can also switch between circles and lines in this manner. One thing you can do with the Select tool is you can apply global changes to your figure. For example, right here we've got two brown lines, a bunch of black lines. So let's say we want all of the lines to be brown. I can do it this way. There's a little note inside the figure properties that says it will apply all of these uh, changes to all of the lines in the figure overwriting what's currently there. Additionally, you can scale the figure by a percentage. You can rotate the figure by an angle. You can flip it horizontally or vertically. And if there are multiple figures, you can align them uh, against the left, top, right, bottom, center, all that fun stuff. The next palette I wanted to talk about is the Frames palette. The Frames palette displays a thumbnail of all of the frames that are currently in your Styx document. And you can create additional frames by clicking on the Next Frame button or hitting the Enter key, much like you can in Pivot for Windows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my figure to a place on the screen. And as you can see, as you move the figure, the thumbnail automatically updates to correspond to where your figure currently is. Now I'm going to go on to do a next frame and you'll see this now created a second frame. The red border indicates the current frame that we're on and in fact if you've got the properties palette up you can see that it shows that we're on frame number two. If I move our sailboat you'll see that we have an onion skin that we can use in order to position our figures for the next frame so that we can get some animation going. I'll just do a couple of frames this way. Now a very fast way to do animation is to use the enter key while you're dragging. In this case I'm going to move the boat backwards hitting the Enter key while I am dragging the figure. As you can see I've created quite a few different frames just by hitting the Enter key. You can navigate among the frames by clicking on them as you would expect. And if you want to delete a frame you can click the delete button or you can right click here and delete or insert a frame. 